Are you suggesting that Mrs. Crowell is in the public domain, favour-wise, as it were? Well, that's how it's told. Oh. Well, yeah. I reckon he'll think twice before sending up another standing for Ted Crowell. Why? What happened? Well, they say Ted turned up and caught the last one. Chucked him through the bedroom window like a thought load of sugar beet. <laughs> I don't know who it was. I could find out for you, if you like. Mm. Would you like me to have a word with Mrs. Crowell? You keep away from Mumbles, we said. Good God, they have to go in pairs to read the meters in that parish. Bill, it might be interesting if you could find out who. Does anyone know who Rasmussen is? He's a Dane. He used to have a farm of his own over at Pollard's Bridge until the government took all that land over. I think he does odd jobs nowadays, doesn't he? Yeah, slaughtering for one. There'd be nothing unusual in Crowell wanting a pig slaughtered, I suppose. Another one, you mean? And not with you. Don't you remember, Inspector, I told you. He had one slaughtered a oh. fortnight ago, that's all. Only someone pinched out the carcass from where it was hanging in the barn. Crawl's been on, I mean, non-stop about it since. Swearing blue murder, he had. Fascinating, I'm sure. Hardly relevant, I would thought. Quite. One other thing, Sergeant. You said the government had taken over Rasmussen's farm. How did that come about? Well, all the land round there was taken. Compulsory purchase, I think they call it. For that big establishment place at, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Thimble Bay. Thimble Bay, that's right. Thank you so much. Fibrofon, think it's from a baby's hairbrush. Portsea Plastic say fishing line. And Hoffman's plumb for the retaining thread on a gyro compass. Take your pick. Not a great deal of help, I would have thought. Anyway, I'll keep trying. Now then, the car. Mm. All in the boot, actually. A few strands of straw, almost certainly the carboy wrapping. Mm -hmm. And more to the point, blood stains. All recent, definitely recent, but decidedly not human. Uh. So there you go, Squire.